students. In this unit, we will talk about the state of water. Water is cool. It's fun to swim in it. It's what we drink. And all life on Earth depends on water. When we think of water, we usually think of water in its liquid form. However, water has three states. Solid, liquid, and gas. Most of the time, we find water in its liquid state. The wet and fluid water we are familiar with. But there are some key terms that we will be using during this unit. Solid, liquid, gas, vapor, freezing, melting, evaporation, and condensation. Water is wet and fluid. This is the form of water we are most familiar with. We use liquid water in many ways, including washing and drinking. When water freezes, it is called ice. Ice forms when the temperature is below freezing, zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Or gas. When water is heated, it evaporates, which means it turns into water vapor and expands. At 100 degrees Celsius, it boils and evaporates. And at that boiling point, the invisible gas of steam is created. Changes of states. At 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius, water becomes ice, a process known as freezing. When the temperature goes back above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, ice becomes liquid again and a process known as melting. Now we know what happens to water when it gets cold. But what happens when it gets hot? At 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, water becomes a gas and its gas form, water, is known as water vapor. This transition from a liquid to gas, it's called evaporation. When water vapor cools down, it becomes liquid again, a process known as condensation. Now, let's just review. The states of water are solid, liquid, and gas. And all changes through a different states depending on the temperature of the water. If it's below 32 degrees Celsius, it becomes ice. But when water is heated, it becomes gas. And if it cools down, it evaporates and forms into condensation state. Now, you some vocabulary words during this unit. Float, sink, measure, magnet, pull, push, and boil. These simple words will be very useful during this unit. Thank you for watching and we will continue on the next lesson. Bye!